Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. Before I issue a statement, I would like to submit my application to be considered for nomination for the position of uh, president as per your mandate. Sir, with me here is a deposit slip for the 200,000 as required by the party. And my application is ready. I hereby confirm that yes indeed the application data is in order and the amount paid is also in order and we wish you for the very best. Congratulations. I would also invite you on a really, since we have colleagues here and through them the entire country is watching what is happening and the secretary of the So I now invite you to speak to us, speak to the media and speak to the rest of the country. Thank you very much. First and foremost, I'll be failing in my duties if I don't say that uh, me, the soul of our departed founding president, His Excellency Michael Chikofi Asata, the fifth president of the Republic of Zambia, rest in peace. Today, we celebrate his eighth year since he passed on. So it is important that I say, may his soul rest in peace. It is not a sad day per se, because we have to celebrate his life. If you remember what uh, the speaker said that uh, Barrio site was actually to enlighten the developments and the things that President Michael Sata, positive things that President Michael Sata did for this country. Now, as we file in our nominations, all of us, so far I think it's six people that have filed, filed nomination. We must realize that we are members of that family. And I hope and trust that as we go to campaign, we should bear in mind that unity of purpose is important for this political party to go forward. I want to appeal to my colleagues, all those who have filed nominations, that no mad slinging and let peace prevail. If we are united, we cannot fail to achieve anything. Unity is the key that is going to propel this organization to our rights. President Michael Sata taught us to love one another, to have a brotherly attitude towards one another. I know that in the past we might have differed with one person or the other, but in Bemba they say, Imiti Palene, Let us put all our differences behind and focus on one thing. What we need to focus on is to reorganize our party, love one another, save the people of Zambia. Because President Michael Sata believed in Ubuntu, man-centered politics. What we are seeing today is that that spirit that we had under President Michael Sata, under President Ed Galungu, where the poor were at the center of governance, is now, has now eluded us. What we are seeing are policies that are favoring the multi-institutions uh, 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 like mining companies. You cannot have a situation 
where a government in power can give tax concessions to the mining houses and then increase the taxes on fuel, increase the taxes on electricity, because fuel and electricity will ultimately increase the cost of living, which will ultimately increase the cost of goods and services, therefore making the poor people suffer. We want to go back to the drawing board. What does PF stand for? What did we emphasize to achieve as Patriotic Front when we formed the party in 2001? One, we say the poor has been merged, but the poor people have been marginalized for a long time. We wanted to come up with a political party that was going to be pro-poor, and indeed, PF has lived to the pro-poor agenda. And I know and believe that the people of Zambia will now believe that Ukwalin Soke Hapa Fuyewa. When we were campaigning Secretary General, we told the people of Zambia, particularly myself, I said some people may, be, may, be, may wonder and say, ah, oh, come with you, I've come back to PF. You see, in life, there's what we call a better devil. When I went to the other side, I found that the policies and programs were worse than I've ever thought. And it was only reasonable that I come back home, reunite with my family, and forge the pro-poor the pro -poor agenda to take the country forward. But when we told the people of Zambia that today I'm sure the people believe that in Mbuiri is able to catch the As we forge, as we forge ahead, as we go forward, I want to appeal to our members across the PF that as we go on to elect a president out of the six so far, if there are others coming to far, well and good, we must look at what we stand for. Let not money be the center of deciding who leads this organization. Our finding father had no money. Our next president after Microsoft, President Lungu had no money, but the people just said, this is the man that we want. Yes. Despite the fact that there were heavyweights financially who filed nominations, who came uh, to, to, to the convention with sacks of money, but the people of PF have always been focused. They said, no, it's when Bachitila, Umutaba, where Shiro, so let us be focused for what we want to achieve. Do we want to elect a leader that is just going to be a leader for the sake of being a leader? Or do we want to elect a leader that is going to fight, fight to and nail for the poor people to defeat the UPND? The onus is on the general populace of the PF. I would not say that I'm the best candidate, Louis I mean, uh, Honorable Mundubile is the best of others, but you, the members, know us, all of you, know each one of us, and power lies in the people, and above all, leadership is ordained by God. If it is not me, somebody else has been ordained, so be it, but obviously, you, the people, know us. I'm offering myself, it is up to the people and up to the almighty God to give me the wisdom and to descend in the people to elect a leader that is going to take this party forward. I rest my case.